Good morning, everybody. Uh, happy Saturday. Uh, it is the day after my birthday. As I mentioned in the past, I've been reading about various prophets. Well, I started the prophet Daniel. I'm very impressed by this gentleman. Uh, what happened is um, the Israelites ended up being captured, went into uh, as a slavery um, to the Babylonians by King Nebuchadnezzar. Bab uh, Daniel was one of these. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were his friends, and they were the other ones. Well, even as early as the first chapter of Daniel, um, Daniel showed, showed courage. He led his friends. And what ended up happening is um, they were supposed to eat the food of the, off the king's table, but Daniel did not want to defile himself. <laughs> Instead, what he ended up doing is convincing uh, the, person, the eunuch in charge that he and his friends would eat vegetables and water and not eat at the king's table and, and gave a test of 10 days uh, to make sure that um, it, they would be evaluated. Well, the eunuch did not want to do it, but he did do it, and he tested and believed Daniel. And of course, Daniel and his friends were in better uh, physical, mental capacities than all the best. And they were brought in front of the King Nebuchadnezzar, and Nebuchadnezzar was impressed, Daniel being the wisest, and his other three friends being right there with him. And also, again, in Daniel, um, Nebuchadnezzar had a terrible dream, and um, within his dream, um, basically, uh, he, he was disturbed by it. His magicians and, and saucers and, and wise men could not tell him the dream nor interpret it, but uh, this is why he ordered to have all these men killed. But instead, Daniel uh, went to, ended up going ahead and begging the king to let him have 20, you know, overnight. So Daniel ended up telling his friends about it, and they ended up praying to God about it, and he made it. You know, his prayer was a short prayer to God, and, and knew that God, if he decided uh, to answer the prayer, he would. Well, God did answer the prayer, showed Daniel the interpretation. And what ended up happening is, Daniel was able to interpret King Nebuchadnezzar's dream about the uh, takeover, you know, of the future of the uh, Medes and Persians being taken over, the Greeks um, and the Romans, all these being taken over in the future. Uh, and and what that uh, the dream was basically about a statue. Now this totally impressed Nebuchadnezzar. So. At that point, he uh, did believe uh, in the God of Nebuchadnezzar, I mean, in the God of Daniel for a short time, and um, he, asked, he ended up promoting Daniel. Now, Daniel had been able to interpret dreams like this many, many times throughout his year. Uh, while they were in captivity, he was one that um, was very loyal to the king, and he was one that... Um, was very knowledgeable and God blessed him many times over. So I find this interesting. Um, when they panicked, you saw that Daniel prayed with his friends. Now, us today, when we have our struggles, we have our anxieties, we uh, go through different things that really bother us, we forget to pray. We forget to put it in the hands of God. And today, during uh, this new day, I'm asking as you think about this, and whenever you come across a struggle, put it in the hands of God, our loving Father. He will care for you. He will take care of you. And you have a blessed day. Thank you.